Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Matt. This is Prime Analog Records. And today I wanted to talk to you about certain things um, going on. Uh, first of all, there was a big sale that was going on. I think it's still a Music Direct. I think there's still got a good sales going on there. Uh, I think there's also uh, several of the, of the big houses are, are liquidating stock. And uh, one of the things they're liquidating is uh, uh, I, got, I got some stuff, and I mean, for $10, I got double albums. Um, one of which was actually $13 was Beatles' White Album, so I got that for my daughter. Um, it's not a surprise, I already told her. So, um, but anyway, one of, the, one of the things, the box that they shipped it, it was ridiculous in size. I have, so there's three double albums that I got from, from them. And... Uh, and I'll show you those in a second. But here's here's the box they sent these in, which is outrageous. Here's what a record album is. is sort of the thinness of it. And this is what they send it in. And the whole side was off. This whole side was broken off like this. I don't know if you see this. I don't know how these, these albums didn't get damaged. But when I opened it, they did have some packing material inside. Okay, so... Um, at least they did that. That was nice of them, but um, they got to get better at this packaging stuff. I mean, I just heard of, uh, you know, watched a video from uh, from David over at Safe and Sound, and he was talking about the same kind of thing. Now, I will say some positive stuff today, so um, not just starting out as a Debbie Downer. <laughs> but anyway, um, so here's what I got. I got um, I got this Amy Winehouse album, and I have not. I, ha I just listened to it last night. I just got the stuff yesterday. Um, it's on pink, pink vinyl. It's a double album, and it's great. It's amazing. I, I still love Amy Winehouse so much. Um, I think she is or was the modern-day um, Josephine Baker or, or Billie Holiday. Um, it's just if you like jazz singing, that's that vocal, that vocal um, stylings of... Um, you'll like this album and uh, I've got you know I've got all her albums to the most part except for this one this is the only one I didn't have and I got it for ten dollars which is you can't beat that okay another one that I didn't have any in, in my collection I'm not a huge fan but I do like the picture <laughs> but um, it's Mariah Carey and this actually sounds really good I was really I was really taken back at how great this sounds um, it's uh, it's very well produced, but I mean, you know, come on, let's be honest. I mean, she sells probably two to five million out of the box, straight out. So I mean, what what artist doesn't want to get out there and get you know, um, what do you call a, uh, you know, link themselves somehow with her and and her styling. So anyway, so here's the here's the big one. This is the one, and I gotta say, um, well, I'll start out by saying. This is my original of this album. It came out in 1981. It's word of mouth, Jaca Pastorius. Um, and that's, that's, the, that's not what I got yesterday. I've already had that. Okay, then I got word of mouth. This I got um, probably about a year or so ago. It was reissued by Music on Vinyl. It sounds really great. However, <laughs> um, Chance reached out to me from Concert Buddy and told me and, sh and let me know that they that that uh, Rhino was going to be putting out a an audiophile version of Word of Mouth, and of course I jumped right on it. And it wasn't I don't think it was that much. I think it was like thirty five bucks. Um, they only made five thousand of them. Mine is just under two uh, two thousand. No, they're they're numbered and everything, but it's just it's a beautiful record. I mean, just outstanding. Uh, and the way that Rhino's doing this, I think is is really great because they're they're proving, um, and others have done this before, but they're showing the original master tape. There's the original master tape right there. That's one of them, quarter inch tape, and here's another one right there. Um, and it's got the it's got the time, the date, the stamp, all that stuff. It's uh it's all handwritten, and I don't know if Jaco had handwritten that, but uh, but the album, he, he did such a great, they did a, such a great job of reissuing this, and, and uh, it's just beautiful. I mean, it's just beautifully done, really hard, uh, heavy card stock, the way this is uh, put together. But I'll tell you, you know, the biggest, the biggest, most amazing thing is the way this thing sounds. 
Um, I just played it again. Um, it it not only it not only blows away the music on vinyl and the original one, and the original one that I have, but it's just so much better. It, it was uh, it's what is it? Uh, it uh, Kevin Gray was the was the mastering engineer on it, and uh, we all know what, what kind of magic he can do. But I'll tell you, this is some kind of an amazing recording. I mean, I, I, I mean, I was so blown away by it um, while I was listening to John and Mary. Um, it just took my breath away. I've never heard this sound like this ever. If this is the way they're going to continue doing business, they're going to do really well in the in the audiophile world. I can tell you because this is my only Rhino um, audiophile record, and. I'm going to start hunting for these things now because they're just so amazing. This is so beautifully done in every single form and fashion. Um, of course, you know, when I get these things, I, it looked really spotless, but I still, I've just got a, I've got an OCD thing about me that I've got to clean all these things before I put them under a needle. So, uh, but that's what I did. And, uh, and I cleaned all these. And, and, uh, when I, when I got that, when I got that record on the, I put it on my PX3 Yamaha linear tracker, and I'm telling you, it's I've never heard anything sound like that. Um, I mean, the bass is so low in it that it's just kind of shaking the house. And I didn't even have it that loud. I ha I had it loud, but I didn't have it that loud. But um, I had it like concert level, so but not like I'm standing in front of an amp. So, uh, but anyway, I just wanted to let you know that. This is really good. Greg over at Three Dimensions of Music, you need to get out there and get 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 your hands on one of these because I don't know if you even can anymore. I'm sorry about having put up a video in a while. I've had a lot of technical things going on and um, I'm I'm working on you know chronicling my work over over 35 year career of photographs and I mean I'm just going through you know hundreds and hundreds if not if not thousands of DVDs. Uh, because back then, and the, and back in the day, we didn't have really good hard drives. Um, so what we did is we backed all our stuff up on DVDs, and we'd get a, you know a, a week's worth of shoot, and we'd put it all on a DVD. And so you can imagine how many DVDs I've got. And I'm going through all these, and I'm actually putting them on good hard drives that I have now. So that's why I've been kind of preoccupied with that. But um, I'm still listening to music. I'm still uh, all about it. Um, <laughs> And now I've got my two best friends in this town, um, John and Steve. Both they've got clips now. They're I got them on the clips train, so they both both got a pair of heresies, and one couldn't be outdone by the other. So they went out and got a pair of clips heresies also. So um, I'm still in the lead because I've got these Cornwalls. But um, <laughs> but yeah, we still play like that. But you know, we're high school. We're all high school friends and stuff like that. But. Anyway, that's my video today. Um, uh, I'll be putting something up pretty soon. I've got a couple of other ideas that I'm going to work on, and I've got some threads that I have to have to jump on too, uh, that are out there in the in the VC. So, um, hope to see you guys soon. I'll talk to you later. All my best.